What's up, Wandered fam? Spencer here, co-founder, head of product over at Wandered. I'm really excited to walk you guys through our latest offering. It's the Fear and Vey 50 liter backpacking bag. Um, and before I jump into the features of the bag, I wanted to give you a quick overview of the materials that we used. So we used a nylon ripstop for the main body material. It's got a weather resistant coating, um, nylon webbing throughout, YKK zippers, high quality buckles. Everything that we picked, we picked intentionally so that um, you guys don't have to worry. No matter where you're taking this bag, the materials are durable, they're gonna hold up, um, and they're weather resistant. So jumping into the features, uh, on the front of the bag, we've done a big uh, vertical zipper like most of our products. Um, and this is a big catch-all pocket. But on this bag, we've also added the water bladder uh, sleeve up here. So we put a big sleeve in with a hook and loop systems with a buckle so that you can attach the water bladder into the front pocket here. Um, and one unique feature about this pocket is that we intentionally designed this pocket to be uh, completely separate from the main body of the bag. Uh, carrying camera gear, we wanted to make sure that if this water does leak, it's not gonna go into the main compartment. No seams go into the main compartment. And then we've also got a drain hole at the bottom. So all water will leak out. There's pass-throughs on both sides so that you can pick which side you pass your hose through on the water bladder to the back of the bag attaches to the uh, shoulder straps. This main pocket is great for a catch-all pocket, uh, jacket, other items, quick, big pocket for you to just stuff items in, get them out quickly. Um, on the side of the bag, the next feature up is our quick side access. You've seen that on the Provoke. Uh, quick draw opens to the side here, straight into the camera cube or the main compartment of the bag. So whether you're carrying camera gear or other items, this is the best option for kind of quick access to your gear. We've also got two side accessory uh, straps that are attached to the bag sewn in. Great for external carry uh, of any kind of gear that you wanna carry on the bag. Um, also on the sides, we have some daisy chain loops, uh, another great ex external carry solution. And then one last strap that we have on the side of the bag is a ski strap. So this is uh, removable from one side and then has a dedicated stuff pocket so that when you're carrying skis that you have that strap there to kind of carry the bottom of the binding, but quickly stuffs away if you don't want to carry skis or you're not carrying skis. Inside of that same stuff pocket, we also have ice axe loops. Um, great for carrying ski poles as well. Uh, but those stuff away when not in use as well. On the sides, front, top, bottom of the bag, we also have nylon uh, webbing loops. Those are used with our, uh, uh, our accessory straps and those are sold separately, but those can be attached to the sides, top, bottom, uh, another great solution for external carry on this bag. It just makes it really versatile. Uh, versatile. And like I said, there's front, sides, top, bottom for that. Moving to the other side of the bag, you have those same uh, accessory straps, you have the same ski strap, all of that stuff is the same, daisy chain loops. But on this side, we've done a big zippered water bottle pocket. This is a big, awesome pocket, uh, great for carrying, you know, a big old one liter Nalgene water bottle or other sizes. Um, we also did it zippered so that your water bottle is not falling out, but it's also great for carrying other items um, while you're backpacking or especially while traveling. Um, this is also a great spot that you can throw a tripod in, throw one leg in, smaller travel tripods will fit in this pocket. Uh, larger tripods, you'll have to throw a leg in, attach it with the accessory straps, you know, half zip up, you've got two sliders on this pocket, but great pocket for external carry. Um, moving to the top of the bag, we've added a big catch-all pocket here. It's just a, a, a horizontal zip right across the top big open pocket and then we've also included a key loop in that pocket so that you guys can keep your keys safe know where they're at at all times um, finally on the bottom of the bag here we've added uh, similar to our provoke a dedicated rain fly pocket but on top of that in this pocket we also have a sleeping bag cover um, this sleeping bag cover is you know pulls out of that pocket and attaches to the front of the bag um, great for carrying a sleeping bag so you're not taking up the internal space of the bag. A tripod, larger tripods can also be carried on the bottom here. Stuffs away when not in use. When this is out and the zipper is open, there is a uh, secondary uh, Velcro pocket inside of here for your rainfly so you're not going to lose your rainfly when the sleeping bag pocket is out. Next up, I want to talk you guys through the back panel of the Fearn Bay. So for the back panel, um, we designed everything on the back panel to be geared around comfort. Comfort is such an important feature of this bag. Uh, to start off uh, for the comfort, we started with the materials. So we, 
We uh, used an air mesh for the back panel, shoulder straps, and waist belt on this bag. Uh, super breathable, super comfortable material. Um, and on top of that, on the back panel, we have both vertical and horizontal airflow channels, as well as cutouts in the foam in the back panel to help facilitate breathability while you're wearing this bag. Um, so the Fear and Vey actually comes in two frame sizes. Uh, we have a small medium frame size and then a medium large frame size. Um, the frame is an aluminum built-in removable frame that's uh, built into the bag. And that frame size doesn't affect the leader size, it's more just the size of the bag. Um, and then to go with the comfort of the materials, we've designed a six point adjustment system on this bag. So you've got a torso adjuster where your shoulder straps can move up and down in three different settings. You've got load adjusters at the top of the bag and the side of the waist belt. You have a uh, shoulder strap adjustment on the bottom of it, as well as the sternum strap adjustment here at the front of the bag. And then the last one is your waist belt adjustment. Um, with these shoulder straps and waist belts, we've designed them in two different sizes. Um, so you've got a small uh, shoulder strap and waist belt or the larger shoulder strap and waist belt. And we did this because no two bodies are the same. So all of the adjustment systems, all of the waist belt sizes, the frame sizes are to kind of facilitate whatever your body shape is. We wanted to make sure that this bag would comfortably fit you and could adjust to fit your body perfectly. Um, we're really excited about this system and think that you're gonna love it. Um, on top of the uh, adjustment system and the harness on this back panel, we've also included four grab handles, uh, one on the bottom, two on each side, or one on each side and then one at the top. Um, and they're nylon webbing stuffed with foam, so they're super comfortable, quick to grab, um, really accessible from any point of the bag. And then um, on top of them being just grab handles for the two side grab handles, we've done those oversized so that they can be a luggage pass through. So you could slide your handle of your roller luggage through those side um, handles and, uh, and use it in an airport if you're in that situation. Uh, the final feature on the back panel is the hidden passport cash pocket. Just like our other products, we, we include this on all products, um, but it's right here behind the back panel. We've got a Velcro pocket, just like our other products. It's for thin cash passport. Keep that stuff secure on your back where pickpockets can't get it. All right, next up, I wanna walk you guys through the access into the Fear and Vey, uh, into the internals of the Fear and Vey 50 liter backpacking bag. So we uh, really focused on access when designing this bag, and we have four points of access into the main compartment of the bag. Um, access is so important with a bigger bag like this. We didn't want it to become a black hole. We wanted you to be able to get your gear no matter where you placed it in the bag. So first up, we have our quick draw side access, uh, very similar to the Provoke. Um, you've got quick access into the camera cube systems that I'll walk through in just a second, um, but also have quick access into the main compartment of the bag. You can sling it over your shoulder and get in very quickly through this side access to any gear you need to access quickly. Um, just like the Provoke, we also have the small accessory pocket here. It's got three uh, elastic pockets inside of it. Great for small accessories, as well as kind of a catch-all pocket for other accessories. Uh, moving on next, we've got our top access of the bag. And this access gets you into our newly designed uh, bucket system. So inside of the main compartment of the bag, we have this fully removable bucket liner that drops down about halfway into the bag. So if you are using this with a camera cube or just want more organization, you can use this liner uh, to separate your gear from the top to the bottom of the bag. Like I said, this is fully removable. So if you don't wanna use the bucket system, you can just zip that out of the bag. Um, last pocket we have on top of the bag is a one more mesh catch-all pocket. Great little pocket for uh, stuffing other gear, um, but that, that completes the top access of the bag. Uh, the next access point for the bag is we have this front catch-all pocket. Um, so this accesses the main compartment as well. All of these access points get you into the main compartment. Um, but as you can see, you've got the bucket drop down here and the cube here, but without the cube in, you've got access to the bottom portion of the bag. And then we didn't want you to have the bucket system in the way without being able to access that as well. So we've included a horizontal zip that'll get you into that uh, bucket system as well. So through the front compartment, you can still access the bucket, which is fully removable once again. Um, the final access point is the clamshell access point. This is what we're known for uh, on the Provoke. It's the same system. The whole back panel zips open 
and you've got a laptop sleeve. Let me hold this up so you can see it. A laptop sleeve, just like the Provoke. Throw your laptop in there if you're carrying a laptop. And then this also gives you access to the main compartment, which is where you can use our integrated camera cubes. So camera cubes are sold separately. Um, we've got multiple sizes of camera cubes already available. We've got the mini, the essential, and the pro camera cubes. Those will all integrate into here, attached securely via Velcro straps on the bottoms and side, and then through the side access, just like the Provoke. Um, but they all integrate into this bag just like they do into our other products and uh, securely can have customizable camera protection for you. Um, and the final accessory product that we're gonna be launching with the Firmve is our camera cubes. Um, so we've got two new deep uh, camera cubes available that integrate perfectly into the Firmve. Um, and these are great for those larger pro DSLR cameras as well as cin cinema cameras. So we're offering it in two sizes. We've got the pro size, and then we've got the essential size um, that'll fit in there and work great for those guys with the bigger camera bodies. Um, and that completes kind of our overview of the Firmve. Uh, really excited to get this product into your guys' hands and have it take you to places that you've never been.